governments that are the problem, with one incredible situation in Washington State. At the state capitol building in Olympia, there's a display featuring a nativity scene because Christmas honors the birth of Jesus, a holiday tree, and now a sign denigrating religion that was put up by atheists. Here's what you see upon entering the Washington state capitol building. Here's what the governor of the state, Christine Gregoire, feels is appropriate. Of course, the atheists are thrilled. At this season of the winter solstice, may reason prevail. There are no gods, no devils, no angels, no heaven or hell. There is only our natural world. Religion is but myth and superstition that hardens hearts and enslaves minds. Now this is political correctness gone mad. There's no reason whatsoever to allow an anti-religious sign to be posted alongside a Christmas display. It is inappropriate and out of context. Christmas is a federal holiday honoring a religious man, Jesus. We also honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in this country. Does that mean we have to put up a sign next to his likeness to appease those who may not like his religious affiliation? Of course not. The book stops with Governor Gregoire, who refused to even issue a statement about this, and she walks past that sign every day. She is a weak, confused leader who is allowing a small fanatical group parody in Christmas displays. I mean, how crazy is this? What's next? An atheist display next to the Welcome to Corpus Christi, Texas sign? Governor Gregoire's phone number is 360-902. 4111-360-902-4111. And you should respectfully tell her how you feel about this, because if cowardly politicians don't get the message, we can kiss our traditions goodbye in this country. If atheists want a public holiday honoring the winter solstice, fine, petition your congressperson. We don't celebrate Ramadan in this country because our traditions are Judeo-Christian, not Muslim, not agnostic. Washington State is ground zero for just about every nutty secular cause on earth. But this time, the state has embarrassed itself and the nation. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, two views on this from Washington State. Joining us from Seattle, Attorney Ann... news. That was a completely biased, opinionated point of view. Um, okay. Well, if anybody watches my reaction to that, <laughs> please be gentle, careful. That was oh, 